Welcome everyone, second guide for the new map Lotus, we're gonna record it right now, we had already the defensive smokes uh, for this map, now we're gonna talk about the attacking side and how to smoke on this map because it is something else so let's go dive straight into it we're gonna play as omen as i think he's gonna be the most flexible um smoker for this map and we will be able to talk about the biggest amount of options when it comes to smokes that we can do and let's attack a side first shall we we start at the barrier now if you didn't watch the guide on the defensive smoke i would strongly advise to watch it first because it will give you much needed context on what i'm gonna say in the next few lane lines so we're gonna dismiss the barrier and now if you want to understand this area you can make a comparison to be long on pell and this is like the ramp area and this is ha this is the cross that you need to go to avoid being shot by the defenders that are already on this side of the map so typically what you want to do is put a smoke, it can be a jet smoke, a cypher cage, whatever, just to make sure that you can cross to the other side of this wall and be already a little bit aggressive and gaining a little bit of space, where there's also two macro objectives that you can find two macro objectives for the attackers. One, the destroyable doors that are so important to create pressure towards B-Link, right? And also to the orb that is so close to the A side. And we have the revolving doors over here as well that we're going to touch, um, touch on about in a moment. Now, when it comes to attacking this side, I feel like this smoke is very important if there's going to be an aggressive aggressive smoke put by defenders because if you're an attacker's attacker and in this defender smoke is going to be used for tempo well now you have an issue how do how do we just breach this effectively without being exposed right and that's what the smoke here allows you to do to essentially nullify this defensive smoke and cross to this area now when you're going to clo go closer to the to the uh, a lobby you have another option defenders might be standing in this corridor now fortunately omen uh is able to do one ways every other character just goes for the default smoke like this so it doesn't leak right it doesn't cross uh it doesn't cross the doorway line so this is like a normal smoke that you want to do in this area but if you are an omen you can be a little bit more creative and you can create a one way that you know you're almost certain no one is gonna go out of this and try to kill you when there's an omen one way because your legs are gonna be visible for such a long time so this gives you a lot of space that you can take uh and essentially push onto the side on a now the problem is this side on a feels a little bit different like your typical plant spots are gonna be this and this spot this box can also be penetrated with uh, medium-sized bullets right so not uh so vandal phantom uh, ghost and so on but the plants are gonna be most likely wait there's a bug you cannot plant in the corner oh look at that okay nice bug so you have to move like a step back that's interesting is, does this happen from the other side as well no it doesn't happen here okay guys prepare yourself for ranking ah, i cannot plant dude i cannot plant i cannot plant anyway so those are your default plans. And if you think about it, how do we plant here? Um, well, you're going to have to make sure that you can entrance, uh, enter the side from this side, right? So if you have two smokes, like your Astra or um, or Omen, one has to be used to cross uh, this, this area first. And the other one is essentially has to be used to make sure to deny the first area of contact from either side or from the platform. And you can do that with two ways one a more risky smoke essentially is just gonna be like this right this allows you to be um to you can cross to side without being spotted uh either but by platform or the player from side but at the same time people can be aggressive for this smoke if they have shotguns or flashes so it's not that easy to do but if you want to smoke the platform the platform is pretty difficult to smoke perfectly because the size it fits like a glove essentially so you have to be very careful about using the smoke from omen over here on the platform because it's very easy to make a gap on the left and the right but this allows you to attack from this side of the map towards the a side now remember there's another entrance to this side and this is through the revolving doors and the revolving doors are the area controlled by the defenders so someone can be standing already in this entire area 
so one can stand even behind the tree, which is not penetrable with any kind of weapon, but... Fortunately enough, if you play Omen, you can do a one-way and counter the person that is standing behind the tree. So you just do a one-way over here. And that doesn't work. That wasn't on the tree. Embarrassing. You should have practiced more. Thank you. So, this is the first day of Philotus, by the way. So if you do the one way on the tree exactly, then the person standing at the tree is going to get exposed because, well, your legs are going to be visible unless, of course, you play Astra and you're not going to be uh, and you're going to be able to just go into the astral form. So you hide your legs in the one way. But it's still a good way of countering a person that is holding from tree uh, if you need to clear uh, this angle. Now, coming out of this um, out of this area that you can make a little bit of comparison, like if this is bind, right? This is the A side of bind, and you go, this is the showers or hookah, essentially, uh, and this is the other side, like long or short, then you can be in a similar fashion to the other side of this map, um, uh, smoking in two ways. One, the CT, which doesn't really help you unless you're playing against players that are playing rotation. So I don't like the smoke at all because it doesn't help you with getting control of the site itself. So there are again, two options here that I would recommend. One, the more risky one, but it helps with the plant as well because if you do this smoke, this is very similar to planting on track on bind. Someone is going to plant this corner while the other player is just going to stand here and make sure that the plant doesn't die when someone peeks through the smoke. This is why it's so important to not leak this smoke behind this line, because if the smoke is going to be leaking like this, well, then someone can just go into the smoke and kill your planter for free. All right, so remember, always put it a little bit more, and it can cross this, li this line over here. The smoke has to always end on this line if you're putting it over on site. Another smoke that I would recommend is going to be a backside smoke like this, which allows you to clear the house on site without being exposed to backside and to the rotations, but allows you to be a little bit more aggressive while taking space on this side and also defending the planter that is planting on default. Now, let's go towards B side. Let's assume also to remember, uh, remember this is a macro objective that you need to remember as an attacker, you want to destroy those doors almost every single round, otherwise the B side can only be approached by one entrance, which is not enough to create pressure. So when we go through the spawn and we go towards the B side, again if you didn't watch my defensive smokes guide, please do, uh, because do so because you're going to understand a little bit of more context of how defenders can be playing here with aggressive smokes over here. All right, if a defender puts a smoke over this, you're going to have to clear this first potential zone and you have to go into this area by just literally just peeking out into multiple angles and you're going to get easily killed by the defenders. So how do you counter that? Well, essentially with one of your smokes over here. Now this smoke, I feel like it's gonna be necessary to make sure that you can get into the orb area and do a left-right position to further clear towards the B side and C mount. Because here we have the revolving door that is gonna be able uh, to put pressure towards C, but at the same time, we're gonna speak about C in a moment because it's gonna be a different topic. It's probably the, the most ridiculous um, site to breach uh, as a team. Let's assume we got this position, we cleared the corners, you can shoot through this box here with any gun essentially that has medium penetration, so it's not really that hard to clear this area. Now, when it comes to B-side, I would say that this is pretty standard when it comes to smokes, so you want to smoke the, uh, um, the exits of the site because this site is so different from anything that we have seen in the past. It's very small and I feel like Almost no defenders will want to play on this side area because it's so condensed. It's so small. There's no place to hide. There's no cover. So the, essentially the best positions are here and here to play as a defender. And those two spots over here and here are, well, are easily smoked. So you just go for default smokes that are not leaking onto site essentially and allow you to cross onto site while you go for, out from this corridor. Right, the only problem is, of course, this area, but this area should be cleared by your other team members because they will break the door and create the additional pressure. So as a defender, unless I'm a chamber, I'm never playing in this position. And chamber, by the way, I think is going to be insanely strong on this map on defense and might be meta. 
So, smoking again on the B side. Default smokes on the CT and... Um, what is this? The upper. Okay, that's the call. We're going to have to learn it, right? So those are going to be the your default, um, your default spots to smoke. And when you're going to attack... Again, if you didn't watch um, the defense uh, guide, I'm just going to show you. I think this smoke might be very aggressive and effective as a defender because it blocks the plant in one of the default spots. The other default is here, which is also exposed into players from the smoke. Pretty tough um, to attack when you're already on site, but I think clearing the site is very easy here. So B might be one of the most attacked sites on this map. When it comes to seaside, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be tough to attack. Now again, let's reset, let's show you the um, the barrier. When we're attacking C lobby, we're gonna be, if you didn't watch the defensive guide, please watch it, you're gonna know, you're gonna get to know about the one way that the defense, defenders are gonna create in this area over here and if you want to breach this, well, you're gonna have to use your own utility. And there are two ways of fixing this area right one the most basic way of literally just countering one way is just put your own one way in front of it so you essentially deny the space created by the one way now the problem is if you create a smoke like this it's still it's like a little bit odd to clear those angles that are created by this mound and it feels a little bit odd i think that one of the better smokes to clear this um uh, this 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 area on mid is just putting a smoke on the mound itself because then the players on the mound is not feeling comfortable because it can he can be just assaulted from every single angle you can clear the mound by just going into this smoke of multiple players and this also denies the informations from the one way because as you can see if unless someone is super wide swinging on the right side you can lurk from this area behind the mound so i think this smoke here on this hill might be very important in the early uh part of the attacking map uh side remember the revolving dodo right but it's actually kind of important because if you do a c split the c split is essentially a b attack it's so different. Like, not a single map so far in Valorant had a situation like that, that if you call a C split, it's essentially not a C split, it's just a B attack with C attack that then meets towards the C, but you're not even breaching onto the area on C. So that's the only way of doing a split C attack is by pushing B. We never had a map like this before in, in Valorant, and I... I don't think I, I remember a map like this in CS as well. So it's very peculiar or curious. I'm not sure if I'm using the words correctly here, but it's going to be a very interesting uh, attack side on this map. And I think breaching seaside is going to be a awful, awful task. Why? Glad you asked, Timmy, in the back. Well, attacking seaside is going to be a clusterfuck. How the hell do you clear this? The amount of angles that the seaside has is absolutely insane. There's just no way that you have any certainty by going onto this side. So, I'm assuming someone in the chat will be like, well, you just put the smoke here and here. Oh. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. Because you can, you still have to clear. Like, let's just assume this is like B-side on bind and you're gonna go CT smoke and elbow smoke, right? Well, let's make an analogy. And this doesn't do shit. Like, what the hell? You have still the entire site to clear. And those smokes don't do anything about the first defense on site. So how do we breach this? I, I'm, I'm throwing shit on the wall and seeing if it sticks because I don't have an answer right now. I think the most comfortable smokes that I would do if I'm an omen over here and I'm attacking this side is going to be one, this. Cover going out. And two, corner of the site. Cover going out. Like this. Because this will allow me to get a little bit of space. This is not a one-way. This essentially fully blocks the vision and we can cross to site, right? So we're crossing to site and we're gathering a little bit of space so we can be already in the backside of seaside. But you have absolutely zero, zero certainty that there are no opposing players on this area. They can even jump down from here. This side is gonna be awful, and if Killer is gonna hold this, good luck. And the only way of going with a C split is going through B. 
So why would you go to C split if you can already plan on B? Right? So yeah, I hope I uh, helped. <laughs> I think I help with A, I help with B, C, I think it's going to be a strong debate and we're probably going to do more episodes about uh, how to play on this side on Lotus. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we're going to see each other next time with new Lotus content.